Life Audio. Thank you for listening to your daily prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we will pray through today's prayer together. This is Carl Muller, Executive Director of the Joshua Fund. Israel is at war, facing the worst attacks in 50 years, leaving people there in devastation and fear. The Joshua Fund has created a rapid response fund, giving you a chance to provide support to our partners on the ground. Your donation will provide vital aid to families affected by these attacks. Your support can go to programs like counseling for traumatized children, food packs for displaced families, and resources for community leaders. The situation is dire. Families have been torn apart. Innocent lives lost. Join us in rallying behind the people of Israel. Together, we can make a real impact on the ground in Jesus' name. Visit joshuafund.com and contribute today. Please stand with Israel in this challenging time. Thank you. This holiday season, Capital One reminds you to give yourself the gift of 1.5% cash back with the Capital One Quicksilver card. Can I earn 1.5% cash back on birds? Birds? What if you sent your true love to turtle doves plus a partridge in a pear tree? Sure, but why would anyone want that? The song was very convincing. <laughs> earn 1.5% cash back on all your holiday purchases with the Capital One Quicksilver card. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. A Prayer for Victory by Emma Dancy 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57 says, But thanks be to God, He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Have you ever felt stuck? Have you been feeling like you cannot come out on top lately? The Lord does not want us to walk in defeat day after day. He did not come to this earth to save us, so that we would continue to live in fear and frustration. However, the enemy loves to remind us daily that we are fallen, weak, and defeated. These are quite honestly lies in our heads that need to be not only taken captive to Christ, but prayed for regularly. Is the enemy telling you that you will never amount to anything? Is he reminding you of your history of past failures? Do you feel unable to move forward because of so much defeat? Today, we are going to pray boldly for the Holy Spirit to renew us and reveal victory in our lives. We do not have this by anything we can do, but because of what Jesus has already done for us. Let's pray. Jesus, you are my victory. I claim you today over every area of my life. For the places I feel confident in, thank you for giving me that confidence. For the places where I feel absolutely defeated, thank you for the future victories that I am going to have in you. I cannot do this on my own. I cannot defeat the enemy or sin. I cannot live a perfect life. This is why you have already done this for me. You say in Deuteronomy 20 verse 4 that you are the one who goes with me to fight for me against my enemies to give me victory you say in 1 Corinthians 10:13 that no temptation has overtaken me except which is common to mankind and you are faithful you will not let me be tempted beyond what i can bear but when i am tempted You will also provide a way out so that I can endure it. You have told me in Ephesians 6, 13, to put on your full armor so that when the day of evil comes, I may be able to stand my ground and after I have done everything to stand. These are not just words of encouragement. These are living and active. These are powerful. 
They have great meaning, and by your word, lives are changed. Change my situation today. Move the mountains that stand in my way. Or give me the endurance to climb them with you. When I feel hard-pressed on every side, remind me that I am not crushed. When I am perplexed, remind me that I am not in despair. When I am persecuted, remind me that I am not abandoned. When I am struck down, remind me that I am not destroyed. Lord, I lift up my specific situation to you today. I pray for victory in my own life. I pray for the specific areas needing victory in the lives of my family and friends. I pray over my local church to live in victory where we have felt defeated. I pray for those who I love who have been in cycles of feeling conquered to know the power of Jesus in their lives and to not give up, that you can get them to new places. I pray for those in my life who have felt defeated because they are defeated and in need of Jesus as their Savior. Help their trials open their eyes to the gospel and reveal to them the confidence and peace that they can have in Christ when they put their faith in you. Help them to stop trying to win in this life on their own, but to surrender to the greater purpose of being wholly yours. Thank you in advance, God for the way that you are going to move and change my situation. Thank you for the guaranteed victory through Jesus I already have right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being in my life and for helping me to live out this victory. Amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. You know that person who brags about all the great Black Friday deals they find? Well, this year, make that you. Shop earlier. Shop smarter. Shop Black Friday deals right now at Best Buy. You found perfect. Details at BestBuy.com.